Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our paint program. Now if you remember from the previous tutorial or before that um, the paint program that we've been using in the previous tutorials or that we've been learning how to make is almost directly from beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 by Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. Um, I've changed maybe a couple of things in there I'm not very noticeable. Well, I just want to give them full credit. Um, I'm just teaching you guys uh, the logic behind this, and I'm taking you step by step so you can understand it better. So now that we got that aside, if you remember from the previous tutorial, whenever we started painting, the the whole screen would flash and it would repaint each time. So you can see here that if I start drawing, you can see that the whole thing is flashing and it just looks really bad. So there's an easy way we can fix this. So we need to come over to paintcanvas.vb and you can see here we have me.invalidate. So what we can do um, instead of invalidating the entire control which will flash it each time what we can do is um, we can invalidate that one rectangle. So under me.invalidate, we can pass a uh, an argument to it. So you can see we've got invalidate children as boolean here, um, invalidate rectangle as system.drawing.rectangle. Now that's what we're going to be using. So we got RC as a rectangle. So we're only going to be invalidating an area the size of a rectangle. Well, how do we know what size of rectangle we want to use? Well, what we can do is we can use object, graphics, item dot rectangle. Now rectangle is a public variable of type rectangle um, that is in object graphics item. So we go to graphics items dot vb we've got our rectangle as our rectangle and um, we made a new rectangle and just set some sizes for it um, just to initialize the rectangle. So we'll come back to paintcanvas.vb so it's going to invalidate an area the size of um, this rectangle right here. So we'll go ahead and run this. You can see here we've got paint.vb. Go ahead and make this bigger. And you can see that if I start drawing here, maybe you'll be able to see this a little bit, but you can see that it's only invalidating the area right where my mouse is. You can see it's kind of flashing right there. I mean, there's a white um, in front of the dots. Now we can draw, and the faster you move, the more spread out the dots are going to be. Uh, but that doesn't really matter. You can just draw a little bit slower. Now let's go ahead and close out of this. And we'll just play with some of the options uh, before we move on to the next tutorials. So we can change the size. So all we have to do is just change one variable in here, and we'll change it to large. So we've got graphic sizes.large. And you can see that when we start drawing, we draw with large circles. And you can see the invalidation right here a lot better. It's invalidating an area the size of the rectangle that we have. Now, it doesn't look the best, but it's better than the whole screen flashing. Now, we can even come into our graphic sizes, and we can set large equal to, let's say, 50. So this is going to double the size of our brush. Come into paint.vb. And you can see here that we're drawing with these big, huge circles. And once again, the invalidation is even more um, visible in this demonstration. So go ahead, um, add the uh, invalidating a small area that we used here to just, instead of flashing the entire control and repainting it, it's just going to invalidate um, the area the size of the rectangle that we have in object graphics item. I mean, once you put that code in, um, even play around with your program some, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.